Good day and welcome to Flipping Economics. In the previous video, I showed you the basic calculations that we're going to do. Now, in this video, I'm going to walk you through a table. A table like this is typically what you're going to have to do on a Yifundi quiz or an exam or a test. So I'm going to walk through you with this table. But it's very important to follow the steps. There's a recipe here. And if you follow the recipe, you will be fine. Right. So the first thing is we need to jog down the pegs, like I taught you in a previous video. So the first thing that you need to do is indicate for yourself, because this is helpful. Total cost equals total variable cost plus total fixed cost. Average cost is average variable cost plus average fixed cost. Then indicate the pairs. Total cost and average cost goes together. Average variable cost and to oh, total variable cost and average variable cost goes together. Total fixed cost and average fixed cost goes together. Marginal cost formula. The change in total cost divided by the change in quantity. And then you keep in mind that if you have an average and you need to go to a total, you multiply by quantity. If you have a total and you have to go to an average, you divide by quantity. Right, so that's the first step that you do. The second thing is, so this is the first step. The second thing is you look to complete total fixed cost. Get total fixed cost. You can get that on various ways. Look and see if I have a total fixed cost in the column that I've provided to you. The second thing is, if that's not true, go check in average fixed cost column. If there's nothing, then you need to go look. Did I give you total cost and total variable cost? Because then you can calculate total fixed cost. If not, then I give you average cost and average variable cost. Because if you have those two, then you can revert it back to a total. So those are the steps. Normally, by step, by the third option, you are sorted. Right. Okay. So let's see what I mean. So I ask you now. To secondly, look for total fixed cost. Now, with this first one, is did I give anything for you in the total fixed cost column? No, I did not. Then the second thing that you do is look and see if I gave you something in total fixed cost. Yes, there's a 10. Right. So now you can calculate total fixed cost. How? You have an A, you want to determine a T. So you, from an A to a T, you multiply by quantity. So 10 times 4 is 40. And because it's total fixed cost, the whole column is fixed at 40. Right. That's the first step. The third thing that you need to look at is after you have your total fixed cost, please listen to me. You go row for row. Otherwise, you're not going to have enough information. So you go row for row. The reason why I ask you or tell you to look for total fixed cost after you indicated the pairs and the formulas is because you need two values in each row to complete the row. If you do not have two values, you will not be able to do it. And if you did not get total fixed cost first, look at, for example, at quantity three, you only have one value there. Quantity two, only have one value there. Then you will be stuck. So the first thing that you have to do after you do the formulas and the pairs, you get total fixed cost. Now we go row for row. So let's go through it. Can we solve total cost? Yes. 5 plus 40 variable cost plus fixed cost give me total cost. Can I get average cost? Yes, because its pair is total cost. 45 divided by 1 is 45. 
because if you get an average you need to divide average fixed cost pay is total variable cost so 5 divided by 1 is 5 average fixed cost pay is total fixed cost 40 divided by 1 is 40 now you move on to the second row you have 40 then you go to the row or the the column in the row that I provided you information with, the 30. Average cost pair is total cost. Can you get total cost? Yes, because you have an average, you want the total, you multiply. So 30 times 2 is 60. Can you get variable cost? Because if total cost is the sum of the variable cost and the fixed cost, the answer is 60. What plus 40 gives me 60? 20. Leave marginal cost first. Let's go to average variable cost. 20 divided by 2 is 10. And 40 divided by 2 is 20. Okay. Now, the second thing is we need to look at marginal cost. Marginal cost is the change in total cost divided by the change in quantity. So 60 minus 45 is 15. 15 divided by 2 minus 1 is 15. Okay. Second step. Start with what I gave you. 13. You can get total variable cost by multiplying 13 times 3 is your total variable cost. 39. Total cost is the sum of your variable cost and your fixed cost. So 39 plus 40 is 79. Average cost, 79 divided by 3. Uh, 79 divided by 3 is 26,3. That is provided. 40 divided by 3 is 13,3. Marginal cost, 79 minus 60 is 19, divided by 3 minus 2 is 1, so 19 divided by 1 is 19. Yeah, total variable cost, the answer is 105, so 105 is the answer. 40 plus what is going to give me 105? 65. Average cost, 105, 5 divided by it's 26,25. Average variable cost, 65 divided by 4, 16,25. And I gave you average fixed cost. Marginal cost, 105 minus 79 divided by 4 minus 3. And the answer is 26. And there's it. So the most important part is... Write your formulas and indicate your pairs. Secondly, always look for total fixed cost first. This is the way that you can determine that. Then you go row for row. The most important part is also to know your pairs, which one goes together. And then if you have an average and you need to get a total, you multiply by quantity. If you have a total and you need an average, you divide by quantity.